short and sweet. Hi folks, today we'll fit a skirt to a man. He will remind us of ancient Roman history or, if you want, of Scotland. I choose this male base mesh, an OBJ file from free3d.com, it costs nothing, and the author is Paul Chen. Thanks Paul for providing us this for free. And I drag and drop it into the empty Maya scene. Here is a cylinder which will serve as the skirt. I deleted all faces at the top and bottom and raised the number of subdivisions. The reason for the subdivision madness is that N cloth needs quite a decent dense geometry. Now it's time to fit the skirt to our human. You can tweak the vertices. I prefer a standard deformation first using the lattice deformer. We need to make sure that the body does not penetrate the skirt and that the skirt is close but not too close to the body. This helps the simulation. If we do further refinements to the skirt, we need to make the skirt forget about the deformer. And forgetting in Maya is called delete history. With the skirt selected, I switch to the FX tool set, where I find N cloth, and under N cloth, you would have guessed it, create N cloth. We create N cloth from our skirt, from that cylinder. When we run the dynamic simulation now, the skirt just falls down. It does not respect the legs of our man. That's why we select the man and define him as a passive collider, so the cloth sees him. The cloth still falls under the influence of gravity, but it respects the man now, even the feet. The final step can be best done in the front window. Here we select vertices around the waist. You can select only a few in one horizontal, more or less horizontal way, or many more, depending on what kind of belt effect you want to achieve. Then with the shift key, I guess you need the shift key, we select vertices at the top of the skirt. Since we selected components, vertices are components, on both participants, the man in the skirt, will choose component to component constraint. And we're done. Three things to keep in mind. If you rig and animate the man, it might be better to fit the skirt not in this convenient neutral pose, but at the beginning of the animation. Slightly more tricky. Secondly, if you cache your animation, that's a yellow line in the time slider below, disable it before rendering. And finally, try out cloth presets, silk or heavy leather t-shirt, cotton or loose, thick knit, which gives the skirt the feel of a knitted cloth. This, by the way, is silk. And this is a very stretchy material. I set the stretch resistance to a very low value. With this, I'll leave you for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.